Good morning, YouTube! Hey guys, my name is Nicola Dickens. This is Free My Cure. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Whichever the case may be, that is a mouthful, let me tell you. Um, let me get this shared out to the world, and I will be right with you. Maybe. Hopefully. There we are. Oh, cool. I got both up. All right, we are cooking with, with something today. So let's go ahead and share this post out to the world so we can get everybody here. And then we are going to go ahead and start. Today we are reviewing a Sonoran Cooler from Arizona Organics. Tweet. I am almost done and we will get this going. How is everybody today? Are you doing well? It is the day before the weekend. Any good weekend? Any good weekend plans? Do -do -do. I am almost done. Actually, I think I am done. Yeah, I'm done. So I'm going to put this on Instagram and we're going to go ahead and start this. I am just like discombobulated today. It's been a weird week. I um, was here yesterday. We did 420 reviews as well as a weed haul. Today we are reviewing Sonoran Cooler. So let's just jump right into this and do a dab. What do you guys think? Are you in? Don't go to sleep on me. How is everybody today? What are you smoking on? Anything good? Today I have Sonoran Cooler here. Give you a pretty look-see. Hmm. I guess I'm doing a cutesy live today. Hopefully I'm live. I can't tell on Instagram. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and heat this bong up and go to town. Let's do a nice dab here. Um, I gotta get my dab going first because I have the thin banger again today. Because I was discombobulated and couldn't figure out what it was I wanted to do. So I ended up with a kidney infection which took me out of commission for a couple of days this week. So I will be coming to you this weekend with a couple of reviews just to kind of catch up on what I was doing. This is my job and I love it. But sometimes it's just crazy right here. So let's go ahead and heat this finger up and taste the Sonoran Cooler. Getting warm out here today, um, being in the garden, the heat in Arizona is, is, is getting up there. We finally hit the hundreds. And I'm not sure what the temperature is today, but it feels like we're already hitting the 90s. So it is good and warm. I will be kind of watching the summer to see if I need to change my times to do this a little bit earlier, simply because of how hot it does get out here in Arizona. But we are gonna cool down a little bit today with Sonoran Cooler. It is an Indica hybrid. I'm not exactly sure the ratio mix of it. But we will go through all of that. It is an Indica dominant hybrid, so we should get a nice good euphoria going. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel in order to join the Wheaties family. We do giveaways once a month. Um, I am still waiting to hear from my next giveaway because we were supposed to do it at the end of June, and I haven't heard from them yet, so we will see. Hey, Al, how are you doing today? So, as always, guys, fuck cancer. Not so much wind today, so you can see all the smoke bellowing around me, which is kind of cool. And as I was taking that dab, I saw a run runner drive, just kind of 
prance by, not really running, but just kind of trotting along. He's right there, he's so cute. He's actually kind of bouncing. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Uh-oh, Rafi has seen him. Everything is good. I had a good emergency room visit. Uh, they did let me go home, which is amazing. Uh, basically, they did a CT scan, they did some blood work, a urinalysis. Um, my blood work and everything looked actually pretty good and my urine actually looked pretty good. What it was was that the CT scan detected that there was a kidney infection coming on. So he's like, ah, we're going to hit this with some IV antibiotics and knock this shit out. And I'm like, you gotcha, buddy. So that's what we did. So let's go ahead and talk about some Sonoran cooler here. Um, so today when I started out, I did not dab at all before this review. So this is my first dab of the day. Um, I'm starting out with a pain level of about a nine. Um, this one you can feel pretty quickly in your throat. It does have that spicy burn. That's great. They got it before it worsened. Absolutely, they got it before it got any worse, which is amazing because at the end of the summer, I actually go in for a major surgery to have my bladder, uh, to have a bladder augmentation, which means they're going to take my bladder out and then they're going to make me a new bladder from my bowel. So um, that should actually, it'll put me into cancer remission, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, but it will also uh, hopefully help with that cystitis that I deal with on a daily basis. The bees are in freaking plethora this morning and I am highly allergic. So I do have my EpiPen right inside the door in case I get stung by a bee because they are everywhere. <laughs> I watered my garden out back and oh my god the bees were crazy oh thank you so much sweetie that is so kind of you so Sonoran cooler is blue dream and OG Kush I got this from Arizona organics it has about a 23% THC level um, the high is a creeper starting out slow building up into a buzzing high this bud provides a focused and detailed task it or er, provides a focus for details in tasks, it's a great day for daytime use. Um, it's great for daytime use. Uh, so it has got to be, somebody has given me, I'm going to have to check the information on this one, and I will let you guys know in the comments below. I have it down as being an indica, but it has a great for daytime use, which basically means it's an indica that kind of acts like a sativa, as far as I, as I believe I remember seeing, but I'm not 100% sure, because most daytimes are sativas. The effects of this are happy, uplifted, uplifted euphoric, creative, focused, and social. Uh, medicinally to treat headaches, pain, stress, depression, inflammation, and talkative. Hmm, I wonder if that makes you talkative or stops you from talking. Because I'll tell you what, it's got my talk button going. <laughs> uh, the negative effects of this are dry mouth, eyes, headache, and anxious. So if you do get headaches and anxiety really, really easily, this one, you might want to take it on a lower scale. But it all works really good. Got mad love for it. Uh, Blue Dream is one of my absolute faves. It's always up to try a strain that has Blue Dream in its genetics. You and me both, um, uh, several of the ones that I like, Blue Dream is one of them, Gorilla Glue number four. Um, I'm pretty pretty partial for My absolute favorite is Paris OG. Oh, it's got an amazing taste to it, especially in flower form, um, but the effects are just amazing. I absolutely I love them. So yeah, the. All of those are good, um, even the anything with the cookie strain in it. I'll tell you what, the breeding nowadays on these strains is just phenomenal. The taste, the effects, everything in it. Um, I just wish they would stop breeding out all of the CBD. Um, I would like to see a little bit of CBD in my flower. Um, the, a lot of these don't have them nowadays, they're bred out. Um, but I would like to see it in my flower. I like CBD. I take CBD. Um, usually on a daily basis. I am out right now and I'm actually looking for a CBD company to partner with that we can do some uh, videos with and, and work with. So if any of you guys know of any CBD companies out there that would be interested in maybe partnering up, throw it down in the comments below. Or if you know of a good CBD company that you really, really enjoy, 
throw it down in the comments below. I will check them all out. Um, I have been so busy. Uh, I do have a behind the scenes girl that does a lot of work for me, but I do a lot of this myself, so it's kind of time consuming. Never tried Paris OG. Gorilla Glue works wonders for my chronic pain, really helps with neuropathy. Absolutely. Uh, Paris OG is a lot of the same thing, only it has a, I don't know, an elegance to the high. I don't know how to say it other than that. Um, the, the euphoria that you get from it is a very calming, relaxing, it's a great bedtime strain, or if you're really not feeling that good, or your anxiety is really high, or you're, um, you're stressing out, Paris OG is one of those great ones to help with all of that. So, yeah. I love my strains. What are your guys' favorites? Northern Lights is usually a pretty good one, too, for an indica. Um, when I did my RSO diary and did my 100 grams of RSO to help with the cancer that I have, um, I did THC bomb, and that one actually, the effects of it, it, it's a, I believe it's an indica, straight indica, um, but it's actually really amazing. So if you can get a hold of that THC bomb and make RSO out of that, the effects um, are great, especially right before bed. It will have you sleeping, it'll have you knocked out. Um, every now and again I'll dream, but it really does help with uh, the nightmares and stuff that I do get. I do have quite a bit of PTSD, so sometimes those nightmares will wake me up in the evening or in the evening at nighttime or early in the morning and I just wake up gas gasping you know my husband just kind of taps me on the side over here he's like honey you're 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 crazy you're showing put it away <laughs> so that's basically what it is is we tell each other when our crazies is showing and when to put it away <laughs> so yeah he doesn't like it when it comes out that early he understands the rest of the time sounds good I'll have to give it a try if I find it out here. Yeah, I was actually recommended uh, to try Sex Pot, and I'm looking for that strain. I haven't been able to find it yet, so I'm with you on that one. I'm looking too. <laughs> so as always, guys, fuck cancer, fuck pain, fuck anxiety, fuck depression. <laughs> Love, peace, and harmony. That's what this world needs. Am I sweating yet? Okay, so that was a hot and hurtful. Woo wee! That one's got me. Hmm. It takes a minute till you can get your breath about you. Oh my goodness. That one hurt. So that one I felt in my throat and in my chest right away. Um, I still feel it in my throat. It did absolutely knock the wind out of me. So it's down like that that I will notice a major drop in my pain level. Bigger, hotter dabs that knocked the wind out of you. It takes a few minutes. It takes about five minutes. And as soon as your body lets you breathe again, which it takes a minute. Whew. 
Mm. So once your body lets you breathe again, you'll start feel that blanket of euphoria starting to hit your body and boy, do you feel it. So it, you get a rush of relaxation and it comes on as you start to be able to get your breath again, which is kind of nice. Um, your body feels heavy. Uh, I could see where this one could give me a really good couch lock. Uh, if it doesn't go the other way, simply because, wow, that was a big hit. Um, <clears throat> so it's the big hits like that, that I will start feeling that head euphoria. Um, with the smaller hits and with flower, I don't get that head euphoria or high as you want to call it. Um, simply because I have done very, very high doses of RSO. Um, I was eating up to, or I was eating four grams of RSO a day. Um, so I was going through it pretty, pretty vigorously. Um, if you watch anything that Rick Simpson has done or you read his book, um, you'll find that he says in there that you start out with a grain size piece, of, a rice piece size of RSO, and then you build yourself up to as much as you can take because you're not gonna, you're not gonna OD on it. So I was taking um, four grams of RSO a day. I was taking two grams in the morning and two grams at night. Um, I went through 100 grams of RSO in 30 days. Um, and I did record all of those that entire time. So I do have a complete RSO diary on here for anybody that's looking for something like that. Now with RSO, one of the great things with it is it helps with pain. Um, I find that by eating a gram of RSO will help me with pain and get me moving throughout the house and doing my you know, chorin', doing my chorin' throughout the day. Um, without having to sit down and smoke more and more. Um, I find as the pain starts to get worse, I start getting tired, I've got to start sitting down, I get uncomfortable, it gets worse. Rick Simpson oil does really help with that, um, but it does take larger doses or larger quantities to do that. So I'm starting to feel that head euphoria right now. I'm starting, I can breathe again. Uh, you have like this warm blanket feeling around your, your body. Um, I want to say my pain levels drop to about a six right now. So it's, I'm pretty comfortable. I could get up and, you know, do my chore for the day and get it done and out of the way. Um, and probably do some writing or something. So I can see where this would be more of an energizing strain. I can also see where this would be a very couch locking strain. Because if I went in the house and sat down and put in a good movie, I'd go right to sleep. So um, this one can really go either way. So if you're looking for one of those that you can use during the day or you can use at night and it'll help both ways, this is definitely one that does, <laughs> does that. Um, and it definitely gives me the giggles. I mean, I feel happy. I feel, I don't know, uplifted. Um, I don't know. That's about it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, now I'm, I'm high. <laughs> so that is it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you guys back tomorrow. I do plan on coming back tomorrow and doing a show at 10 a.m. So for those of you that uh, have subscribed and hit that bell button, I will see you guys tomorrow. For those of you who haven't decided to join our, our Wheaties family here online, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button if you want to know when I go live. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. Mad love. Oh, now you want to come over and see me, huh?